Why sell for anything less than really awesome and really deep and really exploratory? And so this song is the kind of manifestation of this last two and a half years of sexual exploration. Hello, I'm Imogen Heap. I'm a musician. I'm also a mother. Since I was like 18, when I got signed a record deal, right up to the point of childbirth, my sexual energy had been on the back seat, I suppose. You know, obviously, I've had sex. I had a child. But I never really explored my sexuality and kinks. They basically stopped when I was 18, because I was just, like, really busy. I discovered I had a thing called Hashimoto's, which is like an underactive thyroid. The minute I cleared that up, I just changed my diet, and I started to feel myself and then what came out of the cloud was this energy so now i'm like i really want to discover sex and how different it can be and what i'm into with field i love to just dive in there and get to the core of someone so that we can get to the core of each other just be completely honest i love it um and i wish that i felt i could have done that earlier i enjoy that energy with the field dates that i've had but it's also carried on into my outside of dating life and so in my musical life so the song's called What Have You Done To Me, which is ironic because it has done quite a lot to me. Yeah, I love your eyebrows. Hi. And we are in the gym of my barn at the bottom of the garden. And we are making a video, my first video in a very long time. And the most ambitious video I think I've ever made in my entire life. Basically, it began with a date, a lovely Finnish man called Petri who has really been amused, discovered all kinds of things like uncomfortable silences that now become sexy silences, the relationship between noise, unpredictable noise. I haven't told anyone this yet, but today I'm going to record the last vocal with everyone in the room, and then I'm going to put it through my AI voice model. The whole context at the end of the song is that here and now is all we have. This is the moment, the only thing that's real. So let's make the most of it. So Hide and Seek was the first song that I wrote where I was like, I felt really self-indulgent. Nobody was ever going to like it because it was this weird song with no, you know, beats and didn't have a repeating chorus. But it's the most successful one and it's been the one that's, you know, really just helped me be myself. It's like, oh, right, OK. You like it when I really channel only what I want to do. And the more opportunities I've had to do that or have remembered that, the better life has got. And that certainly happened through this sexual journey with Field. It's given me this kind of relaxed state of talking about sex. I get excited about meeting new people. I get excited about feeling intimidated, allowing myself to be flawed. I have this permission that I've given myself, and I could have had it all along, but just to be unashamedly um, myself.